Hey guys, welcome back. It's our uh, afternoon school pickup ramble. Ramble damble. I, um, so I just went to Dunkin' Donuts to get my afternoon coffee. This is like my present to myself. And as I was standing, or not standing, I was at the drive-thru and there was a lady, a Dunkin' worker, that was right near the speaker that you order on. <clears throat> she was smoking a cigarette. And like the smoke's like coming into my car and like I'm a smoker and I just, I don't like smelling like smoke. I don't like my car smelling like smoke. Um, and that's just me personally. Um, so she's sitting there smoking a cigarette and then halfway through it, she puts it out puts it into her pocket of her zip up. It's into her pocket. So as she starts going in, I pull up to the window and I see her come over, grab a bagel and like slice it, whatever, and puts it in the thing. That is so disgusting because she definitely didn't have time to wash her hands and she has a burnt out cigarette in her pocket, which if you have ever smelled that, you know it's absolutely disgusting. It is like just the rankest smell. And so I'm watching her handle food. She didn't wash her hands. She had no time to wash her hands. I saw her go in and as I pulled up, she was coming back over. So she definitely had no time to wash her hands and she's handling people's food and that just absolutely grosses me the hell out and my mom my mom is very clean as far as like washing her hands and shit but um my mom used to put out cigarettes like that and like put it in her like bag and it's just like the worst fucking smell and I don't know why people do it like it's so gross and then to like light that back up like, come on, man. So that, like, super grossed me out. And I was like, thank God she didn't touch my coffee. Like, I know she didn't because I would have saw her touch it. But people just gross me out. But also, it's, like, pretty warm out. And I wasn't expecting it because up on my deck, I live, like, a street over from the, the ocean, the beach. And, um... So up on my second floor deck, it's windy, so it just kind of feels chilly in general. And um, so I never know if once I go to do school pickup, if I should change or not, because when I go on the deck, it's cold. Um, and today was probably one of those days where I should have changed because now I'm in a sweatshirt. But um, so I grew up in New Bedford where, um, it was a very different world. It was, uh, I grew up in the poor neighborhoods and there was a lot of gang activity and drugs and shit like that. And, um, I, like, you know, your neighbors and stuff, like, you didn't really talk to them unless, like, you were spoken to or, like, you, you know, built a rapport with them or whatever. But <laughs> the neighborhood I live in now, is very opposite from where I grew up. It's quiet. Um, a lot of like homes and not like apartment buildings, stuff like that. Um, and it's pretty nice. Like the houses around are like pretty nice houses and stuff, except for my next door neighbors, they're trash pandas. But um, so I'm not used to driving down the street and having people wave at you like every time and like every person and so when I drive sometimes I'm just so focused on driving like I'll notice last second that they wave and I didn't wave and it stresses me out so bad and like I just keep thinking about it and then if I see them again I'm like I have to wave next time but what if next time they don't wave to me because I didn't wave to them this time and it's just like this vicious cycle that goes on in my head so there's like certain people that are always walking like I always see them out with their dogs and there's this one guy that one day I was getting into my car and he like stopped me and he was like, Hey, you know, we're new to the neighborhood. And I was like, Oh, hi. And he had this really cute dog, Maisie. 
Um, she had like little boots on because she hurt her paw. <laughs> um, super cute dog. So I see him out all the time and he always waves to me, but sometimes I'm not paying attention and I don't wave to him and then I feel like a jerk. And so it just happened. I didn't even see him like he was coming around the corner as I was like passing by and he was just like <laughs> all fast and um, I didn't have time to react because I was just like I don't know my head's like killing me so I didn't <laughs> pay attention I'm like damn it now if I see him again later I have to make sure I leave but it's like what is the rule around that like and why do they do it like I can understand if like you know your neighbor, but why do they always just wave just to wave? I don't know. It's, for someone that's a uh, introvert in a sense, it's very uncomfortable. It puts a lot of pressure on me to pay attention and react in time. I'm so focused on driving and like, you know, get into where I'm going and I feel like I'm always on like a time crunch. So it's just, it's too much. I wish they just wouldn't wave to me. They still do though. And it's just like, okay. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it right now. I'm at school waiting for my oldest and he already texted me and said, can you bring me home before you go pick up Aiden? Cause I have to go to the bathroom. My child is just like me and he refuses to go to the bathroom at school and in public, like very rarely will he use the bathroom in public. Um, sometimes it's weird to think like how you can pass things on to your kid without realizing you're passing it on to them. It's not something like that I really talked about with them. From like a young age, they just, he's just very, my other son doesn't care. He'll go to the bathroom wherever, you know, if he needs to go. But my oldest son is like the spitting image of me. Um, and he has a lot of my anxieties, I guess you could say. He doesn't like going to the bathroom here because kids hang out in the bathrooms and like vape and it makes him uncomfortable and I think he's just nervous to be in a bathroom with like a bunch of people there. So he refuses to go to the bathroom, but like also he doesn't like to eat at school because he doesn't like people watching him eat. So when he does, eat a little like I pack him a lunch every day so when he does eat a little something if he drinks like his brisk or his water um by the time he gets out of school he's like in pain because he has to go pee so bad so I'm gonna have to <clears throat> fly from here go all the way back home to drop him off and then go back to the middle school to pick up my other son and like yesterday I had to do it because he had to pee and uh, I usually have about 10 minutes before Aiden gets to the car. So, I mean, it works out. But if there's any type of traffic, like yesterday was a smooth ride. And he got out right away. So, like, if that doesn't happen today, I cut it so close. And it stresses me out. So, I'm hoping he gets right out of school. So, I can just go and pick him up. And drop him off. And then go pick up Aiden. But anyway, yeah, I, uh, I'm just gonna do my thing. Um, I'll be posting another longer video earlier. I mean, what? Earlier? Later today, um, or tonight rather, I have a wicked busy afternoon. So um, look out for that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you soon.